Well, greetings, Series 7 test takers. This is the Series 7 Guru coming to you from my studio in fabulous Las Vegas with another request from one of our test taking weekend warriors. Getting a lot of questions about short accounts. So I have a full blown margin lecture uh, that I will post, but I also did a little carve out. It seems like short positions are drive people nuts. So that premieres tomorrow, uh, 5, 10 p.m. There's a live Q&A chat. You can join me for that. And uh, immediate following that, we do our Tuesday weekly community live stream Q&A for any FINRA or NASA test exam. So uh, bring your question and the test geek, Brian Lee, myself, the guru, Dean Tenney, will answer any questions you have about any uh, FINRA or, or attempt to answer any question you have about a FINRA or a NASA exam. Uh, we have a 65 a practice test that's premiering a Wednesday instead of Thursday because Thursday is Thanksgiving. So We'll be skipping our normal Thursday premiere for a Wednesday premiere uh, of a 65 practice exam. We have uh, in each of the playlists, we have a practice exam that I've written based on debrief, sometimes more than one. We always have a test geek uh, exam, final exam, where you know you can get uh, a free look at test geek content with very strong correlation to the actual exam. Mine are based on debrief and not diagnostic. But then uh, we also throw into the mix a uh, Kaplan uh, practice final as well. So uh, in each of these series playlists, that's what you'll find as a as a minimum, not a maximum. That would be the green shoe. <laughs> okay, let's get this question uh, done. Hope to see you tomorrow night. Uh, let's see, get a whiteboard here. As I, I've said, in terms of being able to do margin, what you want to be able to do is the initial setup and then a mark to market. So let's just put our initial setup. And uh, let's put that a smaller font. And we'll put that here. And then we said uh, what you want to be able to do is a mark to market. And to do that, you got to know the classical margin equation. And the classical margin equation for a short account is credit register minus short market value equals equity. That's what we got to be able to do in terms of the classical. Classical means we assume everybody knows it. So it says an initial transaction, a customer sells short 1,000 shares at uh, 20. And then it says uh, the customer makes the required deposit. So that's pretty typical phraseology. So a customer in initial transaction sells 1,000 shares at 20 and makes the required deposit. So the first thing we want to be able to do, and this is where most people get hung up, is we're going to get $20,000 from selling the borrowed stock. And then remember, we have to put half of that reg T. You have to be initially at risk for uh, reg T and the reg key on this is gonna be $20,000 or half of that, $10,000. That's the reg T requirement. That's 50% of the market value. And uh, in a short account, we call this short market value to distinguish from long market value, but market value is market value. Okay, so now based on that, we can do our initial setup. We're going to have uh, $30,000 in the credit register, cash, credit balance. And as I said, what most people get hung up on is where did that come from? That came from $20,000 from selling the stock we didn't own, plus the $10,000 Reg T requirement. And so that's where that $30,000 is coming from. The second ledger line is still what we owe, but in a short account, what we owe is uh, twenty three thousand dollars. Excuse me, twenty thousand dollars worth of securities. So let's put that there. That's the short market value. Uh, please note, I haven't finished the question because it's kind of like options. What I mean by that is, you don't want to even you know kind of look at the question until you get the initial setup because you, if you don't do the initial setup, you're just going to be staring at it. And so here's our initial setup. And we have uh, $10,000 in equity. Again, that is called the classical margin equation short. The classical margin equation short. 
All right, so let's see what then they say in the question. It says in the question, uh, the stock goes to uh, 23. Uh-oh, that's the bad bad news. That's not what we want. So the key again is now we're going to do our mark-to-market at $23 a share. All right, so we're doing a mark-to-market. We still have, so let's put that there. And uh, we still have $30,000 in the credit register. Cash that arose from a short sale. That's not a free credit balance. That's a credit balance that arose from a short sale. Free credit balance is just money laying around in your account. That's not. This isn't just money laying around. Uh, you owe securities. Uh-oh. If you went into the open market, back, bought back the borrowed stock, gave it back to the person you borrowed it from, it would cost you $23,000. And that is not bueno. And the reason that's not bueno is because remember that you just are losing your equity here. Let's put that in red. And again, as we said, to be able to do the mark to market, you got to be able to do the classical margin equation short, and the classical margin equation long, or the classical margin equation short. And please note, we now have $7,000 in equity. And uh, basically what this question then says is what, uh, which of the following uh, entries would be affected, right? It would show the following, and you are getting tested here on knowing that the credit balance didn't change. What changed was the short market value in the equity. So you tell me that this has uh, $7,000 in equity and has a short market value now of 25. Uh, you know, it didn't go on from this, but, you know, we could uh, know that this is restricted. We're less than 50% equity, right? So 50% less than 50 means your account's restricted. Okay, so I hope that was helpful. Again, initial setup, mark to market. And uh, hopefully you can watch the uh, lecture that premieres tomorrow or at some future date. After the premieres, by the way, it just becomes a regular uh, video into the uh, playlist. And I think I'm almost caught up. Yeah, I think that's it. I think I'm caught up. So if you had a question that you gave, submitted to me and I haven't answered it, just you know, remind me and I will certainly do that. Uh, remember, uh, inch by inch, your series seven is a cinch, yard by yard. Your series seven is hard. And I hope to uh, see you uh, tomorrow or Wednesday. Bye-bye.